hello hello and welcome to another video in today's video we're going to discuss a question from one of you i'm going to go a little bit more in detail about this question um so without further ado let's get started all right so the question is should i bring my own running shoes or should i get some there you can get shoes at the px let me tell you that your drill sergeant may not allow you to get shoes at the px if you do not bring shoes of your own the likelihood of you wearing your army issue shoes are very high okay if i can get a picture of the army issue shoes and put them on the screen i put them on the screen i remember how they feel they felt they were terrible they were bad like cheap running shoes okay they're like a cheap shoe that you get from like payless um, and you have to break those shoes in and they're extremely uncomfortable. While you're at reception, they want everybody to look the same, so you're going to have to wear those shoes. But you're not running at reception. Once you get to your battery, it is dependent on your drill sergeant, but for the most part, and I'm going to go through some shoes, if your shoes are within like a certain color, you will get to keep them. So my suggestion is that you buy some shoes like a month in advance at home while you're doing your runs and stuff at home, which you're doing, right? You're doing your runs at home. So while you're running at home, I would have your shoes on, in, on. That way the shoes are already broken in. Your feet don't hurt, you don't have no problems, okay? That's what I would do. And I would suggest that you do the same. Let's say you get there and they say, your drill sergeant said, you can't wear these shoes. Well, you're gonna have to wear your army issue shoes, okay? That's just how it goes. But if they're within a certain color, you're probably gonna get to wear them. And if you don't bring any, you can use the money that's on your little card and you can buy some at the PX. But nine out of 10 times the drill sergeant is like, will you just come in there? They're gonna make you wear your army issue shoes if you don't come with some on. So, um, cause they really, they try to watch out for you as far as like letting you spend your money and things like that. Like not allow you to spend all your money in the PX, okay? So they try and watch out for you. So most of the time they won't let you. It will have to be probably like towards the end where they don't really care what you buy from the PX. But in the beginning, you're probably not going to get a chance, honestly, to get some shoes from the PX. And those shoes are very expensive and you still have to break the shoes in. Who has time for that? So just buy them when you're at home. Wear the shoes to MEPS with you. Like whatever you're wearing the MEPS to ship out in. I would have my shoes on with that. Like I wouldn't bring any extra shoes outside of the running shoes that I would put on. Okay, so that's the first part of this question. Um, I want to get into actual shoes because a lot of people had shoes and they thought it was running shoes and the drill sergeant was like, no, you put that in your personal bag in the locker. You do not have access to your personal bag while you're basic training. It's basically locked in like a storage closet, like in a room and you don't get to get it. Um, every Sunday, I believe it was, depending on what drill sergeant was on um, CQ duty, we did get a chance to go inside of the locker and like get stuff out of, ba out of our bags um, as long as it was in like regulation. And they didn't check, honestly. They didn't check, like, when you were going in there, they weren't checking what you were getting. But when they did, like, the health inspection, health and wellness inspections for our locker, if you got something out of your locker that you shouldn't have, you were going to get a counseling for. So don't think you're getting away with anything. But, yeah, so you have to put your shoes in your personal bag and you won't have access to shoes if they're the wrong shoes. So one of the things that they said was, and you know, they have their little, they have their little rules that's like amongst them that you don't really know until you get there. Um, if your shoes are like a loud color and you're not fast, you can't wear them. So if you got like high light neon shoes and you are the last person to finish running, they're not gonna let you wear them. However, if you are a fast runner, you could wear them. So I would just play it safe. Unless you know that you're a fast runner, I would just go ahead and play it safe and get a black shoe or very toned down shoe. So let's go over running shoes versus not running shoes. I'm gonna hold up some shoes. We're gonna say if they're running shoe or not, just because some people don't really understand. There's a difference between like a tennis shoe, you know, like a running shoe, tennis shoe, and like you trying to be cute. And they're not gonna allow you to wear a shoe with you trying to be cute, okay? So here's the shoes, first of all, that I wore. Um, I absolutely love Asics brand of shoes. And these were no exception. Um, I will try and link this. Sh this shoe is actually already linked in my Amazon store. So here's a shoe that I wore. Um, and these shoes, so these are, yes, obviously, even though they have a little touch of some color in there, they're a black shoe predominantly, okay? This is the shoe that I really, really love, but I did not bring it because it was not black. This is my favorite running shoe of all time. And I know ASIC has, I'll put some other ones on the screen. They have different colors of these, but they're phasing out this shoe. Like they're discontinuing it. You might not be able to find it. If you have, um, if you like a shoe with a wide toe box, and if your foot um, pronates or, I mean, over pronates or under pronates, 
doing this number right here, this stability shoe, this shoe is the best for stability. And even though this shoe was good, it was not nearly as good as this one, okay? Still my favorite running shoe to this day. So both of these, you can tell these are running shoes, okay? Now, let's move into a different kind of shoe. Um, I also, I have a lot of running shoes just because this, you know, I be walking and stuff like that. That's what I do. Walking, running, I've been doing it for a while, so I have a lot of running shoes. These are barefoot shoes, okay? Though this shoe is black, I don't, I wouldn't bring this. I don't think that they would allow you to wear this shoe, if I'm just being honest with you. Even though it's black, we're going to put no on this shoe. And if you want to just test it out and ask, these are very, you know, they're not, they're flat. They're not, they don't take up a lot of space. So if you can fit it into your backpack, I will fit it into your backpack and just ask once you get there. Because um, like I said, depending on your drill sergeant, it might be a little bit more lenient about your shoes. Okay. And let me tell you this, not trying to say you've been shady or anything like that, but if you were, and the guy at the PX told me this, he was like, he was in blue phase and we had just gotten there. He was like, if you mess up your shoe, like let's say you put a hole in your army issue shoes, they'll let you wear the shoes that you have there, okay? But you can't put a hold on them when you first get there because they just gonna call you trifling. Like, why are you busting up stuff and you just got here? You haven't even ran. So, there's that. Um, this shoe, I love these little shoes. I wear them for like my earrings, but this is not a running shoe. They will consider this you trying to be cute and you would not be able to wear this. So you would wear your army issue shoes, okay? Um, this is another shoe. Very, I would you would be able to wear this. Even this color is very muted. This is a running shoe. There's nothing cute about it. They would let you wear this shoe. Um, now the other shoes are my husband and my son's shoes uh, because I don't have these type of shoes to even show you. This, this is not. This is not a running shoe, okay? It's cute, it's a tennis shoe, I get it. But understand, if you're trying to be cute, they gonna say no. And this is you trying to be cute, I wouldn't bring these. Another one is this one. So, this is a running shoe. It's a muted down color, and you're gonna say, Tanzania, what's the difference? One of them is you're trying to be cute and another one's not. Okay, this is a this is a running shoe. Even though I don't really like this, it doesn't really have a much support in the shoe. Like, look at, Look at this shoe. This shoe is much more supportive than this shoe. So this is kind of you trying to be cute too, but they will let you wear this shoe. Go ahead, what you think? No, I seen people, people had, what do you call those shoes? Yeezys and things like that? No, these shoes, you they would be right in your personal locker, okay? Hopefully somebody don't steal them. They'll be in your personal locker until you move on to AIT. No. Um, another shoe, this. This is a running shoe. They would allow you to wear this shoe. The color is correct. As you can see, it laces up weird. Like, he doesn't have the lace in it. This is my son's shoe. He doesn't have the lace in it, but it does have, like, a little, you know, one of those elastic lace. And, you know, it's it's not you trying to be cute. It's just a regular old tennis shoe. They would let you wear this. These. These are not running shoes. If you come from Meps with these on, if you want to wear this to the airport because you want to wear them when you ship off to AIT, I mean, fine. You could do that. But... They're not gonna let you keep these as running shoes, okay? So I hope that was helpful. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money on running shoes. Go on Amazon. Amazon has really good prices for shoes. You can go to a store like near you and get yourself some shoes. If you wanna go to Walmart, Walmart has um, tennis shoes, they have running shoes. Just go in there and get something. Like I said, I would choose a color that's very muted down, like a gray, definitely black. Black always is a winner because the Army issued shoes are black. So if the closer you get to the Army issued shoes, the better off you are and the more likely you'll be able to wear your shoes, okay? So I hope this was helpful. As always, if you have a question, ask a question and I'll see you in the next video.